All right, I hope I can finally record this tutorial after all the earthquakes and the storm <laughs> finished, hopefully. So I'm going to do this quick tutorial on the twist animation. I posted these explorations on my Instagram stories a few days ago, and it was first brought up by Stefan Minty on the Discord channel. So he asked how he could do this animation and Evgeny Makarov came up with this setup. So it looks like this. And I basically tweaked a few things and uh, that's uh, how we ended up with this animation. And so I don't know if Calvary is an ideal software to do this kind of thing. Uh, maybe it would be much easier in the 3D software, but you know, this is the Calvary, <laughs> Calvary tutorial. So we're going to, to explore this. And I think it's a very interesting solution uh, to this, you know, question. So yeah, let's try. So. First of all, uh, we are going to create this 3D or you know 2.5D sort of fake uh, rotation, fake uh, 3D shape, and then we'll add some twists on top of it. And let's start by creating a rectangle shape. So I'll set it to 650, 180. You can change this, you know, based on your um, text and the font, so it kind of matches your text shape. So we are going to type twist. Let's change the font to something like this. Center, set the size, color. And now we are going to make it a child of the rectangle shape, make it all 3D. Now we cannot see our text. Uh, so let's first create a camera. So now we can actually see our 3D space. I will bring the text shape in the front by changing its Z position. And so we have our side, the side of our 3D shape, but we need four of them. So we're going to duplicate them. I know you, you might ask, like, couldn't we just use a duplicator? But uh, unfortunately, as far as I understood right now in 2025, March, duplicator doesn't work with 2.5D or 3D. And I know, correct me if I'm wrong, but <laughs> I couldn't make it work. And uh, yeah, so we have to do it based this kind of like, I don't know, old school method. Uh, so one thing that obviously is a bit annoying that those are different copies. And if you want to change the text, you know, the rectangle shape, size, whatever, you need to do it separately on each of the copies, but you can solve this by creating let me show you the original composition, creating a typeface and then the value array and then just connecting this to each of the copies. So then you can uh, control it all from one place. So it's not actually so bad. And let's, I mean, here I'm not going to do this right now, just because uh, it doesn't matter, uh, but let's create the shape. So we're going to name this front, then uh, top and bottom and back. I'll hide this and we are going to, you know, move them in the space. So the front will go to the front, uh, 90 pixels uh, on the Z axis and the top will go up and we'll rotate it and the bottom will go down and again, we rotate it and the back will go to the back <laughs> and again, minus 180 degrees. So it's all set up. We just want to do uh, a null. So it's going to be our uh, rotation control and we'll add this as a child of the null. So right now, if we, oh, first of all, we need to make it 3D. And if we rotate our, oh, sorry, I think something is wrong. Oh yeah here it was supposed to be minus 90 sorry so now if we rotate our uh, 3d shape we can see the special effects that's because we see the null uh, and we are going to make it transparent so now we can see it better and we need to set the keyframes uh, so i'll set uh, the keyframes on the rotation x of the null here and then another one on the frame number 60 270 degrees and let's add some easing and experiment with those values the easing and you know the speed of the animation because it's all going to affect uh the type of twist that you get in the end if it makes sense and this is the base animation it's done let's go into our main composition and bring the rotation here we will group it uh, 
And now the trick, <laughs> how it works. So we are going to duplicate this original rotation many, many times. To, and we are going to use a mask on each of these copies distributed horizontally. So we will only see a small piece, like a pixel, you know, of those duplicates and each pixel will move uh, at its own pace, if it makes sense. So let me show you how it works and you will understand it. So I'll create a mask. It's going to be five pixels or oh, let's use four pixels wide and then 500 um, for the height and we'll call it mask and we'll add this mask as a track mat. So here you can use a track mat, it's going to give you a better result. You can also use it as a clipping mask while you are editing things because it's a little bit faster, but it will give you a bit of mm, like this weird sort of gaps between the copies. Uh, you can use the different clipping mode for the better result. But anyway, so I'm going to use the track mat. And now we are going to duplicate our animation, or original animation, and set it to the point, 220 copies. Amazing, now we cannot see anything. So, <laughs> because the mask is at the same place, we have 220 copies of the mask because it was duplicated together with the with this group, but it's all in the same place. We need to uh, find a way to distribute it horizontally. So, of course, we are going to use a stagger for that. So we'll add the stagger into the X, of the mask and here i'm using minus 400 uh, and 400 but obviously like depends on the like where your shape go how uh, wide it is you might need to edit those values and so we see all of our animation but it's all happening at the same time all 220 copies and there isn't a very easy fix for that we just need to add a stagger into the shape time of set as we always do and right now it's set to five, and I think five actually works pretty fine, but if you want to have a bigger twist, you can you know, set it to 10 or six or something like that. So yeah, that's it. Uh, it's pretty much it. Uh, and you can actually set the end of the composition here to 60. And this is our animation, so it takes a little bit to get the first render, but then we'll see, it goes pretty fast right now. And the last thing is, I kind of like this cube rotation, but if you just want to see your text uh, twisting, oops, sorry, you can uh, change the background color. So now we don't see the shape and we just see the text. So that's one thing. and. Based on your stagger, like your text, etc., like your setup, you might want to change the mask uh, width and the amount of copies to make to make it more clean, so you don't see the pixelation effect uh, over here. So in my case, 120 copies works, but in your case, you might need to set it to a higher value. But obviously, be careful. The more copies you have, the harder it is to render. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun experimenting and creating something of your own. And don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you post something. And a big shout out to Evgeny Makarov for solving this issue. I wanted to create this twist animation for a while and I was very happy that now I know how to do it. And now you also know how to do it. And of course, uh, this file will be in the guide as always. And I will also leave a link in the description to the to this file.